Damn it. How did things end up like this? Beautiful old city. <laughs> well then. Poison! When did you get back? Long time no see. How's the wrestling organization with Hugo going? Is everything good? Hi, Roxy. Well, it's coming along. Hey, Roxy! Where's the registration for that used car deal we made a while ago? Oh, <laughs> Poison! Is that you? What's up? What brings you here? <laughs> Abigail, you look like you're still in fighting shape. Let me check you out. Abigail, I'll give you a passing grade. As of today, you're on tour with me. Huh? Tour with you? What? What do you mean, Poison? What happened to Hugo? Huh. That coward ran off in the middle of seeking our dream. Who cares about him? I know Abigail has more guts, so he'll take my offer. But, you know, Poison, the boss has been working really hard running... Huh. Abigail doesn't have the smarts to be a boss. What makes you think you can just show up here and talk to me like that? Poison, Abigail's working very hard to manage the shop. He can even smile at customers like a real businessman. Hey, boss, show us a good sales smile. Welcome to our shop, nice customer. I'm sorry, Abigail. I was being selfish. I'm sure you'll be a great business owner. Take care of Roxy, boss man.
heard you got sprung, so I was nice enough to recruit you for my organization. What are you doing? Why the hell would someone like you take on the mayor's job? <laughs> it just sort of happened. About that offer to make me a star. Can you ask me again when my term ends in a few years? Ahem. <clears throat> Metro City Police? I'm here because we received a report that the mayor was being attacked by a thug. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I appreciate you coming by, Officer Morgan. But there's no need to worry. We were just having a uh, conversation about the good old days. Hmm. That's what's going on. So uh, you can take things from here, Lucia. I kinda remember you. Didn't you go on tour trying to make some pro wrestling organization? You and that big guy, wasn't he named Hugo? Uh huh. It doesn't take a detective to realize that you guys had a fallen out. Hey, watch it now. I don't want any trouble. Even if I wanted to make trouble, it wouldn't help. There are some things we just can't control. You could be born to a rich family, or to a family living in a garbage dump. Whether you're a man or a woman, you can't choose how you're born into this world. Look at Hugo. He's a big blockhead who has no ability except to beat people up. He was born to a fate of always fighting. Yeah... I think I get what you're saying. In fact, I think our mayor is kind of the same way. Still... It's not like I hate people who can't live on their skills or their smarts. We've already talked too much. Time for me to go. <laughs> Where the hell did this blockhead come from? What do you want? I don't need someone who runs away just to crawl back to me. But... The worst ones are the ones who run away from the situation and never have the guts to face it again. So if you got the guts, maybe you aren't the worst kind of blockhead I despise. You want a second chance? Fine! But I won't go easy on you, Hugo!